yeah, it's going to be a close game, but, you know, that's what a final is about. My dad, he's, he's a legend for the Cypriot football and for Greek football as well. You know, in my opinion, he's the best Cypriot footballer that ever played to this day. For me, in some second years, this is our last year for the under-18s, so we want to leave our under-18s with a trophy. George, thanks for joining us. We've got a Premier League Cup final literally around the corner. How are you feeling? To be honest, we're excited for the game. We can't wait till kickoff. It's going to be at, at the cottage, at, you know, our own stadium. Uh, we're going to have some Fulham fans coming, our family members. We, we can't wait to get started. We're also like extremely proud to be here because we've been through some tough games. Uh, we've got some results, and you know, we're proud to be playing in this final at the cottage. So. And if that fixture doesn't have enough of an edge already, you're against Chelsea. I mean, that makes it extra special, right? Yeah, you know, Chelsea is one of the biggest teams in Europe. You know, won the Champions League last year. So it's, uh, it's a pleasure to play against these big teams. But, you know, we're a big team also. And there's been a rivalry between us, especially at, you know, under 18 level. So we, we got some results the last few times. So we're hoping that we can get a result again. Wednesday, so. And this will be the third time you've played them this season. It's been a competitive fixture. You drew four all at Motspur Park in the league. You beat them 2 0 at their place. Yeah. It's going to be a close game, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a close game, but you know, that's what a final is about. It's about being a close game, a competitive game. Uh, we're expecting a tough game, a game that, you know, it will go right till the end. So we're ready for it. We're just training hard, doing what we do all the time. and. You know, I think the hard work will show in the day. So. And you've obviously, you've grown through the academy. You were born in Greece, in Athens. You grew up in Cyprus. Yeah. How aware are you of the rivalry between these two teams throughout history? To be honest, because I've been watching the Premier League since I was young, I know, I know about the rivalries. I know about, you know, the teams facing each other. So I'm aware of the big rivalry these two have, especially the history of these two teams. And... All we're trying to do is, you know, be on top, uh, like we're trying to do every single week. So this is just another time trying to beat, beat a team and, you know, come on top, win the London Derby. So we can't wait. Yeah. And it's been an unbelievable journey to get to this point, hasn't it? I mean, it's. You've, you've played some really strong teams and you've overcome them. Yeah, to be fair, the whole competition has been tough from the group stages to you know, the knockouts, especially the last game against Leicester. Uh, it was extremely tough. We had to work really, really hard. But uh, hard work is you know, one of our values. So just showed on the day where we, we, t we got the win. We, we worked hard and we got the result. So, yeah, it's been a tough journey to get here. But... You know, I think we deserve it. And I think we can all agree that one of the key highlights for you guys in the cup running was, was Manchester City, yeah. who you beat in the quarterfinals. I mean, that was a team, they were looking for their third successive Premier League Cup win. I mean, it yeah. was massive, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, to be honest, we, we wanted to get revenge for last year, the last game of the <laughs> season. Uh, they beat us at their place. So going into that game, obviously, we wanted to stop their run, but we wanted to get revenge also for last year. And, you know, it was... It was a sweet feeling that we could we could get that. So a 2-0 two, two win at home was it was massive, and you know it just allowed us to go into the next game against Leicester. And now you know here we are in the final. So yeah, it was a it was a good game. And I can only imagine as you're picking up these wins against you know these types of teams for confidence. It's just yeah. growing, isn't it? Game on game. Yeah, every game you know if you win, it's an additional confidence boost. Mm. So. Uh, we're on a good run at the moment. We've got loads of confidence and on, we're going to try and use it on Saturday firstly against Arsenal and then on Wednesday in the final. So. Looking at you individually, I mean, it's been a brilliant season for you. You've played a massive role for Ali Malul's side. Yeah. What is it do you think that's clicked for you this year? To be honest, I think it's a couple of things. I think hard work is one of them. You know, I've been working hard, especially last year. Because uh, I knew this year uh, I would get a chance, so I had to make sure that I grabbed it with both hands yeah. and you know 
I, I think I did it. And to be honest, also, I think religion is one of the main things that play a big role in, in me, in myself and in my family. So just, you know, believing in, in God, in the journey, like in the process and, you know, just laying low, working hard behind the scenes and, you know, the, the appearances talk for themselves, I think. Yeah, Definitely. So. You mentioned their family, and that's something that I just want to go into. Your yeah. dad, Yanis, he's a Cyprus legend, isn't he? He made over yeah. 100 appearances for his national team. He's the second highest scorer ever for Cyprus. I mean, how much yeah. of an inspiration was he for you growing up? My dad, he's, he's a legend for the Cypriot football and for Greek football as well. You know, in my opinion, he's the best Cypriot footballer that ever played to this day. Uh, he was a massive inspiration for me, you know, from a young age, watching him, like going to the stadiums, uh, watching him play, and you know, I've always wanted to do that myself. Yeah. So, uh, also, you know, I want to thank him because obviously he's a great footballer, but he was, you know, a great father first for me, and then the football stuff just came after by itself. So, you know, he's teaching me also now. He's telling me what to do, giving me advice, and you know, I just take it on board and try to do my best. I mentioned his support for you when you were growing up, but like you just mentioned, he still plays a massive part, and he's always down at Motspur Park to watch you when you're when you're playing games, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he just he goes on huddle and watches the the clips back <laughs> from training and stuff, and you know, he sends me clips, just you know, advising me what to do about, especially about the attacking third. He was an attacker, so about finishing, you know, uh, finishing positions, finishing techniques, and I just try and take it and learn from it. Yeah. So, yeah. George, literally about 100 yards ahead of us is Craven Cottage, where you'll be playing. We're expecting a really good turnout for that game. That's for, for, for players like yourself in the academy. That's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive because you know they're going to be supporting us, giving us you know an extra boost. Also, like with COVID, we didn't really have a lot of fans at Motspur Park. So you know to have them here in the final, it's going to be it's going to be massive. It's going to be a great experience, and uh, I think it's going to help us. It's on our side, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, to be fair. And looking ahead to the game, your preparation, has the training intensity been any different this week or is it very much stick to what we know? To be honest, it's, it's the same, you know, yeah, I'd say it's the same and a bit better than, than usual. I think it's just, you know, the players are feeling the excitement, They're, they can't wait, so it shows on the, on the training pitch. Uh, but to be honest, you know, we're just taking it easily, one day at a time. And yeah, yeah regards to the training sessions, it's, it's been good, it's been great. You know, all the, all the players are fit and we're just good to go, yeah. Looking at it tactically, what kind of a game are you expecting? Uh, you know, we've, our coach, we, we've discussed some things uh, that we should do that we're expecting from Chelsea. Uh, I think in general, it's going to be a high intensity game. Uh, you know, I think Chelsea are going to press quite high, as they usually do, but we've got a few solutions you know, ready and uh, I'm sure we will, on the day we're, you know, we're going to find the answers on the pitch by ourselves, like we always do. So in general, I'd say you know, a very competitive game, high intensity and hopefully a lot of goals from our side. So. One of the biggest questions, have you been practising your penalties? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be honest, not really. We yeah. hope that it, it doesn't go uh, to penalties. But, you know, if you have to take them, we've got some good strikers of the ball, so Do you I'm fancy confident. yourself? Yeah, fancy I'm, yourself I'm, from the, from the spot? always, always. I'm confident in myself, so if there's one, I'm, I'm going to be amongst the first ones to take them. George, it's been an unbelievable few years for the academy. I mean, so much success across multiple age groups. How nice would it feel to add one more piece of silverware to that cabinet? It's gonna be it's gonna be great because, you know, for me in some second years, this is our last year for the under 18s. So we want to leave our under 18s with a trophy, and you know, a trophy is just gonna be, you know, we're gonna show our hard work through the trophy. So. Uh, I really hope we can win the final, grab a trophy and just have it, you know, at Moscow Park to see it every day we walk in. So, yeah. Well, we finish off here where you'll be in a few days. Yeah. Best of luck to you. 
Thanks Thank for you. joining me. It was a pleasure. Thank you.